You have no relationship. Your family's a mess. You've got no friends. You've got no plan. You've got no job. You use your time outside of work, not only badly, but destructively. You have a drug or alcohol ha habit or some other vice, pornography addiction. Um, you are completely unengaged in the surrounding community. You have no scaffolding whatsoever to support you in your current mode of being or you move forward. You have a terrible life. Well, let's pick a front. You scale back the dragon till you find one that's conquerable that moves you forward. There's a, there's a rubric for life. Scale back the dragons till you find one conquerable and it'll give you a little bit of goal. I don't tell people that they're okay the way they are. No, I say, no, no, you could be way more than you are. And they're relieved about that, you see, because if you're in a dark and terrible place and someone says you're okay the way you are, then you don't know what to do about that. It's right. like, no, I'm not. I'm, right. having a, I'm having a terrible time and I'm hopeless. You're okay the way you are. Well, then what? What? That's it? That's it? That's where I am? And what do you want to tell a young person? You're 17. You're okay the way you are. It's like, no, you're not. You've got 60 years to be better. And you could be way better. You could be incomparably better across multiple dimensions. And in pursuing that better, that's where you'll find the meaning in your life. And that will give you the antidote to the suffering. Okay, so if you're suffering, you are obligated, in a sense, to hold on to whatever rope someone throws you. And one of the things I do with my clients all the time, especially if they're really in trouble, is to tell them, look, I don't know exactly what's going to help you, but don't arbitrarily throw out any possibilities because you might not have that luxury. As you could say, there's not much difference between being depressed and existing in the biochemical state that being at the bottom of the dominance hierarchy would produce. In fact, they're the same thing. Well, then the question is, are you depressed or are you just at the bottom of a dominance hierarchy? Because those are not, like the, the symptomatology is very, very similar, but the cause and the cure are not the same. You know, because you might be at the bottom of a dominance hierarchy because you're just, everything about your life is ruined. So, and of course you're suffering. Are you depressed? Or, no, not exactly. You just have nowhere to go. The thing that's common among instances that have make it appear that you're moving forward is the dopaminergic element, roughly speaking. And then one of the things that happens if you're higher in serotonin because you're more dominant is that you're more satiated all the time. That's why people who are low in the dominance hierarchy with decreased levels of serotonin are more impulsive and also more emotionally dysregulated. They're more impulsive because, hey, you take your positive thing when you can get it. You know, you have to look for those little bit of, that little bit of sparkling crystal in the darkness when things are bad. You have to look and see where things are still beautiful and where there's still something that's sustaining. And You know, you narrow your time frame and you be grateful for what you have and that can get you through some very dark times. And maybe even successfully if you're lucky, but even if unsuccessfully, then maybe it's only tragic and not absolute hell. And you can do that, you know, in the worst situation. You can make it only tragic and not hell. And there's a big gap between tragedy and hell, you know. You see that happening in depressed people is that every small event produces a cascade through their entire value system. And they end up saying, well, that's just another reason that I should jump off a bridge. And they really see it that way. It's really awful because they've got no defenses. It's like, well... I, I didn't do so well in this course. It's like I'm, I'm going to get a bad mark in the or in, in the exam. I'm going to get a bad mark in the course. That's going to screw up my ability to finish my degree. I'm never going to get into the field of my choice. It's just another piece of indication that I'm useless and that life isn't worthwhile. Bang, I'm going to jump off a bridge. And if you're really depressed, it's like each of those things hits you with the certainty of truth. It's really not good. And so you want to be careful. You want to be careful about walking down that pathway when you make a mistake. You think, okay, what's the narrowest framework of interpretation within which I can, I can understand this that will require minimal behavioral change to decrease the probability <clears throat> that it will happen again? It's, it's, it's mental hygiene, fundamentally. Yes. So one of the things I tell people who are depressed is like, don't sacrifice your stability. Get a job, even if it's not the job you exactly want. Get a damn job. You need a job. Find some friends. Get out in the dating circuit. See if you can establish an intimate relationship. Put together some of the foundational items that, that are like pillars that your life rests on. Well, that's the practical thing. People who are depressed tend to use the pronouns I and me 
much more frequently than people who aren't depressed. And I'm not saying that people get depressed because they're selfish. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that one of the way out, one of the routes out of depression appears to be an increase in service to other people. And I think the reason for that is because we aren't power mad demons at the core, even though we may be tempted by such things, and that we find the genuine meaning that offsets genuine suffering in the genuine service to others. You have to be clear about what you serve and why. And that has to be held higher always than mere victory, mere operationalized victory or instrumental victory. It's a very, very difficult thing to, to negotiate.